That seems a little strange. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Disclaimer! Just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. So what I want to do now is, um, I got a bunch of fuel part stuff, because I've been, this, the, the finishing the fuel system has kind of been um, on hold, because, uh, well, one reason was that the filter uh, was messed up, the one from UL Power, and then I, I needed some more um, copper ceiling rings. So, and, and a banjo bolt thing. So I think I got everything now. Um, I got these parts from Wix. This banjo bolt, um, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with this one. So the thing is, the, uh, the fine fuel filter here, this is the fine fuel filter. Um, I, I need to hook this up to, uh, to go from the fuel pumps to the fine fuel filter and then from the fine fuel filter to the uh, engine. But this side, the, um, the inlet is supposed to be 14 millimeters, which it is. The outlet is supposed to be 12 millimeters, but it is not. And the, uh, uh, the bolt here, the banjo bolt that, is, that comes with this, it, this is how it goes in there. So it just slides in. So it, the threading on here is much larger. Um, I did take some caliper measurements and it's uh it's just over 12 millimeter 12 millimeters so it's just just big enough to actually fit the entire bolt uh in there so anyway um but i told ray at ul power about it and so uh um he uh he wants me to send this to him so i'm going to send this one to him and in the meantime uh and he's going to send me back a new filter but in the meantime uh he said that um this one this is this is one that he uses from Napa and the part number is 3008 and it seems to work great it's honestly it's probably better quality um, it but I don't really know it just kind of just kind of seems like it might be um, and this one the fit on here is just fine for that 12 12 millimeter banjo bolt right there but I actually don't want this 12 millimeter banjo bolt because this one has the little outlet on the top here. And that would be for if I, w if I wanted to have um, a fuel, basically an additional fuel pressure sensor. Uh, but I don't, I'm gonna be hooking it up, the plan anyways, that I'll be getting the fuel pressure from the ECU by way of the, um, the, uh, it's going to be the MGL, uh, it's like a, the RDAC, but for the UL power, and it's going to, it's going to connect up to the ECU. So that's, and that's how I'm going to get all of the uh, information from the ECU to the uh, EFIS, which is also going to be MGL. So all the MGL stuff should be here soon. Hopefully it'll all work out great. Anyway, so I don't need this little um, threaded portion here. So what I did is I ordered from Wix uh, this this 12 millimeter banjo bolt that is just you know a regular hex head sealed on the end, and that's part number F2521200. And it should work out great, I think. I think it should work out great. And I got some uh, copper ceiling rings. Actually, this one. This filter comes with some ceiling rings, which is excellent. They look pretty decent. And then what I also need to do here is replace the copper ceiling rings uh, that go on both sides of this uh, like dual banjo, uh, what do they call this thing? This whole, this whole piece right here that connects the outlet of both fuel pumps. So after all that rambling, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do all that stuff and try and get every try and get the rest of this stuff hooked up so that we'd be ready to go, and then we can uh, test the pumps and run some fuel through them before I hook it up to the engine. I've got a three quarters and eleven sixteenths inch wrench. I'm going to loosen these guys. And the reason why I'm replacing these is because um, I realized that I had put the wrong washers on there and 
I squished them down, but then I like got the right ones on there. But then I, but then I, and I squished them down, but then I realized that um, the other ones were already squished, and so I just want to uh, minimize the the uh, possibility of leaks. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace uh, both of these with new ones. So these are the caps there. These are the old ones. Take this thing off. There we go. Take these ones off. These should be the same size. Yeah, these are the same size. So these ones are part number 53121715. So these are 12 millimeter inside diameter, 12 mil 17 millimeter outside diameter, and 1.5 millimeters tall. I wish they'd just come with like a bag of extras instead of like just the right amount. Okay, and we got the direction of flow going this way. And now let's do this. Let's get, let's mount the stuff on, or let's put the banjo bolts on here. So we've got 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter banjo bolts. And there's another one in here somewhere, yeah. So we want the 14 millimeter first. Yes. Okay, just like that. So we'll get our stack. Actually, uh, eh, I don't know. Those might be cheaper. I'll just use these ones. I'll just use these ones. going to do just about just finger tight so we can still move this to get it the right angle. Let's get this one here. Oh, and these larger ones are part number larger uh, these larger ceiling washers 
are part number 53141815. So they're 14 millimeter inside diameter, 18 outside, and 1.5 millimeters uh, thick. Okay. Get our new banjo bolts. Now, let's see how this works out. I've got those on there. Um, we've got these lines that I got from, uh, that came in the firewall forward kit. Just for uh, reference, this is part number Foxtrot Papa Lima 100, fuel pump to fine filter line. Length is 90 or 190 millimeters. Well, it just says M, I guess it's millimeters. And this one, this longer one, is Foxtrot Foxtrot Echo 101, fine filter to engine line, uh, length 460 millimeters. And that, that's it. That's all that's on here. So I take it, we're going to take it from somewhere like that to here. So we got to get everything, you know, sitting sitting pretty. Gotta make sure this sits right. This one looks like it's just a, a straight up, there, there are slight differences, but it looks pretty symmetrical. So let's take these caps off and kind of play around with the connection here. Okay, well, we know it's got to connect to here, so we'll just kind of go from, well, that doesn't look right, does it? Does it go this way? That seems a little strange. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay, so the thing is, is I think this is kind of the issue with, um, maybe I put this in slightly the wrong spot. I thought it was in pretty much pretty much right where they said it should be. Um, okay, well, figures, figures. All right, let's say I connect this here. Let's put that like that. Looks like this is kind of pointing up a little bit. So look, I mean... Oh yeah, that's, that's better. That's a better fit. Yeah, that'll do. So let's see if we can get a good angle with this one and this one. Because since this is, you know, this is kind of, this can kind of move around a little bit since we have this on these uh, clamps here, which is good. So let's see how this one fits. And what I'll do is actually connect it temporarily to the engine right here just to make sure we can get a good fit now see we've got this banjo bolt but we're kind of it's kind of fixed already in the you know the position of where the outlet is or the inlet or you know the thread the threads a little bit more kind of bend this down yeah I think that'll do and so by leaving this uh, banjo bolt 
or the gosh what the heck is that called the name escapes me the actual banjo the banjo fitting loose we can kind of get it at just the right angle hopefully just the right angle yeah there we go sure beats having to make hose lines I'll tell you what of course we don't want any torque on this thing but I think it's, it's pretty good since these lines are kind of flexible and yeah, we've got some some good uh, good flex here That's it for now, everybody. Uh, I'm going to end this video here. And I'll see you on the next one.